It's a 12th nil win for Inter Moengo Tapo over Flames United. The first match of the competition for the team from Suriname facing uh, Flames United. And what an impressive performance from Inter Moengo Tapo. Able to dominate the game from the get go, creating chances early on and being able to capitalize on them. And for Flames United, a disappointing tournament, although they did have good moments, especially in the first half. They were able to create a couple of chances out of mistakes out of the back from Inter Moengo Tapo. Just unable to finish. As we take a look at the highlights of the full 90 minutes, it all started with a shot from Rivaldo Dorson recovering the ball from Santo Freeman. Right footed shot. And this was the end of a long night for Flames United. The one mistake early on, and the first goal just a few minutes later. Once again, it's Rivaldo Dorson finding Romeo Castillo. And this is a finish for Castillo, able to control inside the box and finish with the left footed shot. Pressure coming from the back from Shane Wicks, but a little bit too late. And then the first of three penalty kicks. This one a good finish from Mikkel Darson. Once again, the combination between Rivaldo Dorson and Romeo Castillo will mean another goal for Castillo, the second one of the match for the striker. Once again from the penalty spot, Mikkel Darson just taking advantage of the opportunities this came after a foul over Rivaldo Dorson as well. Uh, a good free kick as well, good effort from Ali Lewis but unable to get to the ball. Very well positioned over the wall. The ball hits the post and in for Serginho Edward, and in the second half, once again, opportunities from the spot. And this is finish again for Mikkel Darson. This time, a penalty kick after a handball from Flames United. Al Lewis goes uh, the wrong way and unable to get close to the ball. Towards the end of the match, a little bit of a uh, Lack of concentration from Ali Lewis going far away from goal. It's Rivaldo Dorson unable to finish, but in the end, Damian Brunswick just a couple of seconds after coming onto the match, able to finish with a right-footed shot and scoring once again. At this point, Inter Moengo Tapo has started thinking more about goal differential. And here's a good play from Gerald Wicks from the left, moving past uh, Fillion Robinson and putting the ball just to, for the easy tapping from uh, Rivaldo Dorson. And uh, as minutes went by and substitutes came, came on, fresh legs started working for Inter Moengo Tapo, who started thinking about that goal differential against OEM. Here's the third and final penalty kick from the night. It's Anduelo Amoferri able to score. This was as close as we could get to the end of the match and it looked like the possibility of scoring 11 goals, which is what Inter Moengo Tapo needed, was coming closer and closer. Flames United as well, having trouble moving back physically, just uh, the toll that both of the games have taken on the defenders is just too much. Here's uh, the save from Ali Lewis, but unfortunately, Basil Wong ends up scoring on his own goal it's the second goal of the double header early on we saw an own goal as well for Real Rincon so the shot from uh, Dorson the save from Ali Lewis and in the end uh, the own goal and this is the moment that change it changes things up in group A because it's uh, Chamil Edward with the right footed shot who's able to score the 11th goal of the night for Inter Moengo Tapo. This is just, just happened a few minutes away from the full 90. And then in added time, 
It was uh, Gerald Wicks who came onto the match very aggressive, who was able to score the final goal of the night. 12 0 for Inter Moengo Tapo over Flames United. It was an impressive showing for the team from Suriname, who's now looking forward to the last match of Group A facing OEMFC, needing only a draw to advance to the next round. So a big moment for Inter Moengo Tapo as they're able to win 12-0 over Flames United.